Hi sweeties and welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. So in today's video I'm going to be doing a Swedish uh, delicacy I think it's called, like a Swedish pastry. Here in Sweden we call it kladdkaka. So I don't really know the exact translation but sticky cake. Basically, it's a quite moist chocolate cake and it's so good. If you, if you do it correctly, it's so nice. It's sticky. It's a chocolate sticky cake. It's, it's a chocolate sticky cake. Club coca. Club coca. It's a chocolate sticky cake. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Um, and I thought, why not? I mean, I think that a lot of you people are on lockdown because of the coronavirus and we need to treat ourselves a little bit and I feel like a lot of these ingredients are easy to either find or I think that a lot of you guys already have these ingredients at home because they're quite common. So if you have some time to spare or if you're bored or if you, don't, you just want a chocolate cake then you should definitely watch this video and don't forget to subscribe, uh, like and comment on this video. But anyways, let's begin this video. So I'm gonna show you the ingredients. First we have some eggs, we have two eggs. Then we have uh, two teaspoons of, I think it's called like vanilla powder or vanilla sugar. Half a teaspoon of salt. Then we have 100 grams of butter and we're gonna melt this later on, but I've just placed it here. Oops. Oh no! I've just placed it here um, for you guys to see, I guess. And then we have uh, one deciliter of flour. Then we have four tablespoons of cacao, um, yeah, chocolate powder basically, and then we have two and a half deciliters of sugar. In here it's only two deciliters because I don't like when things are too sweet. So if you're like me, then you can just cut down on the sugar, it doesn't really matter. Over here, you're gonna place like the, the um, I think it's called the batter, yeah, the batter in here later on. And let's get started. I just want to remind you that you should probably start your oven right now. So put your oven on 175 degrees Celsius just to prepare, right? Because we want um, the cake to be done as quick as possible. Okay, so I know I just want you to see what I'm doing right now. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna place the sugar in the bowl um, over here and I'm gonna also um, add the eggs so I, I, I showed you but it's two eggs and be careful with the shells because we don't want that in here right then we're gonna mix this together um, and we're gonna mix it for quite some time so I'm sorry for the sound I'm gonna mix it like something like this, so it's white, and in Swedish we call it purast. Unfortunately, I didn't prepare enough, so I don't know the English translation, but basically it's white and it's uh, fluffy. And now we're just gonna add the other ingredients. This chocolate powder, the cacao, just put it in there. That's why this recipe is so easy, because you just put everything in here, like so. And then this vanilla powder, like so. Then we're actually gonna melt the butter. And I know that some of you guys might hate me right now for putting this in the microwave, but I'm lazy and I hate to do the um, to do the dishes. So I'm just gonna place it in there. Then I'm gonna put it on maybe 50 seconds. I have to watch it though, so it doesn't. I'm just gonna wait for it to melt. Can you hear that sound? It's the batter melting. But then basically we're just gonna put it in the batter. Um, okay, I think it's done now. And now we're just gonna place the butter, the melted butter that I had in the microwave. Please don't kill me. We're just gonna add it in here like so. And then we're just gonna, we're just gonna stir it around. We not, we don't want to add too much air. So just do this 
carefully, okay? So, something like this, right? Okay, now we're gonna add this butter. Butter, 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 butter. And this. Oh. <laughs> so beautiful. I'm gonna, gonna place it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how sticky you want it. I like when it's quite sticky, so I think I'm just gonna place it in the oven for 15 minutes. And it's important to know that everyone's oven is quite different, right? So you need to keep an eye on the batter because we don't want this cake to be dry. That's the worst thing, like, don't want dry cakes. That's awful, right? So you, we just have to keep an eye on this. And also, I feel like, yeah, 15 minutes should be enough for this cake. Now I'm actually gonna place this in the oven for, as I said, 50 minutes, 175 degrees. And I am gonna take it out when it's quite firm in the, in, in the end, do you say that? But quite wobbly in the middle. So let's place it in the oven and then I'll update you in 50 minutes. <laughs> okay, I just, oops, what's going on here? I just took out the cake. Now I'm gonna place this in the fridge for, fridge? In the refrigerator for four hours and then it's gonna be done and I'm gonna show you the end result, so. Stay tuned. Two thousand years later. Okay, guys. So it's been a few hours. So I'm gonna take out the cake, and you're gonna see how it looks like. I changed clothes because now it's evening, and I want it to be more cozy. And yeah. Anyways, let's get to the cake. So here you see the gorgeous kladdkaka and i have some powdered sugar on it and i also have some whipped cream and in the end i just add two strawberries and it looks so good doesn't it okay guys i hope you like this video please give it give, <laughs> please give it a thumbs up comment below and make sure to follow me on my other social media channels my instagram is sandra sweetie my asmr channel is asmr sweetie and yeah i'll keep you updated and i'll try to post more often uh, and i'll see you in the next video i hope that you like this recipe please um send me pictures on instagram uh and or tag me or whatever you want to do that will be so much fun and i'll see you in the next video